Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here back with your daily crypto content. And today we are going to be talking about Hedera Hashgraph or HBAR if you will. Now I do want to talk about some specific things. So first off, we are going to address the overall price. We're going to be talking about future things as well. So with that being said, let's just scroll down and see where HBAR actually is as we do see Bitcoin break above 49.3K, which is very significant. I am going to be talking about this in a short while. Um, that is going to be another video though, just to let you guys know. Um, but we do see down here, um, Hedera is still at number 58. Price action sucks. Going to be completely honest with you guys. I love honesty. I'm sure you guys do as well. Uh, so the price action is not significant for what HBAR is actually doing and what they are going to be achieving. So we are going to talk about that. But first, we obviously have to address the elephant in the room, which is the price action. Uh, price action still looking fairly strong. In my opinion, we are still holding a fairly strong support zone. Great to see. We are still on the upward path. And I do expect a major green event uh, to really push push us above the overall all time high. We will get there, guys. Be patient. I know that I'm asking a lot because I know a lot of people have been patient on this one for a very long time. Patience will create winners in this space. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, so with that being said, always remain calm. Uh, don't look at the short term picture. Always look at it from a standpoint of, hey, where could this asset really be in time? All right. Now, talking about that in time, um, I just want to say right now, um, you guys should definitely be in my discord. Um, I actually have a buy alert section. Um, I know this is a little bit of a plug. Uh, the reason why I'm plugging this is because today we have seen eco or ECO um, really fly to about 16 almost I think it actually hit $18. Um, and I told you guys that I picked up a thousand of it at six dollars roughly. Uh, it was about like 16 or six dollars and 16 cents. Uh, so Definitely join my Discord if you guys want to. Uh, links will be down in the description below as well as in the comments below. I don't want you guys to miss out on a lot of these gains that could pretty much just shovel right back in to HBAR, AOBT, XRP, and a few other assets that are doing incredible things in this space. But going back to the HBAR stuff, this is what I really want to talk to you guys about. So Hashgraph technology is extremely new to the space, but it's something that is going to reshape this entire space. You can't say that HBAR doesn't have the potential to flip Bitcoin for the number one spot. HBAR is a giant that should not be overlooked or ignored. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, how could this even flip Bitcoin when, you know, it, it, the price action is just not moving, blah, 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 whatever. Well, it's simple. OK, first and foremost, right now, right, if we come over to, um, you know, crypto. Um, coin market cap and look at the crypto market cap for most of these assets. For an example, HBAR is sitting at a $2.3 billion market cap. When we look over here and we do see the billions of dollars in market cap, for an example, Bitcoin is sitting at about $927 billion for the market cap overall. We do see that the total market cap is $2.10 trillion. And these are some significant love, uh, numbers to really um, remember, right? So just to give you guys a little bit of an input, right? Tether is at number five with a $64.6 billion market cap. You might be wondering, well, why is this even significant? So first off, I do want to say right now, this is the difference between Hashgraph versus blockchain technology. So when we look at this, right, we're doing 500,000 transactions per second compared to 100 to 10,000 transactions per second for blockchain. I've already gone over this multiple times, right? Now, I do 100% believe um, that at some point in time, HBAR is going to really kick off and replace a lot of these assets that we do see in the top 10, 25, 50. This is actually a tweet from Barbarian. Now, obviously, he knows he's saying that the team behind HBAR knows what they're doing and so forth. And this is actually pretty, you know, I know that this is a meme, but this is actually pretty insane to think about. But talking about crypto regulations that is going to basically be coming into this space within, I think, the next year, um, this is going to be a very, you know, interesting market to be in. Um, you know, 90% of cryptos will get nuked when regulations kick in. HBAR will be one of the few to thrive. And again, when we come over to crypto market cap, we just see a lot of these assets, right? XRP and a few that are ISO 222 uh, compliant. HBAR does not need to be that. And I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. So HBAR doesn't have to be ISO uh, 222 
um, compliant because they are not going to be the company or the asset that is going to be transacting um, at massive amounts. Actually, the companies and the businesses that work in side of HBAR that are going to be in the fintech areas like FIS and stuff need to be ISO compliant. But HBAR itself doesn't need to. It's already Web3 compliant first off, uh, which is the big key step there as well. So HBAR is compliant. They are you know, fully backed by regulations as well. So they're totally, they understand what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So that is actually going to be one of the assets that really thrive when regulations do come into the space. But the important factor to really look at when we do see regulations is also this uh, tweet from Barbarian. Again, this is going back to July. Now, I already reported on this in a video with HBAR, but we're talking about a trillion transactions. Just to give you guys a little insight, um, basically, it, you know, Lehman's talking about a million transactions per second, uh, and then also uh, a billion transactions per second, and at some point in time, a trillion transactions per second utilizing a massive, massive amount of sharding. Now, it doesn't have to be a lot. Um, we can only have, we only need a specific amount of shards. And when we talk about that, we also have to talk about the idea of how many do we truly need to, to get to that point? Well, right now we're doing 10,000 plus transactions per second, right? Now at that 10,000 plus transactions per second, that is only on one shard. And he already said with one shard, you could basically achieve about 500,000 transactions per second. Now, that is off of just one shard alone. Now, in terms of that, right? So, when we're talking about, you know, that massive amount uh, just for one shard, and say for so we try to get to, I don't know, one trillion, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, to get to one trillion transactions, okay? We, first off, with one shard, just remember, 500,000. We would only need about 2 million shards, which is not that much at all because technically speaking, they're throttled at that specific 500,000, okay? Once we actually get sharding in place, that is going to un enable um, unlimited transactions per second. Uh, enabling that is going to really kick off the idea on getting to that 1 trillion. And the reason why that 1 trillion is very specific is because we're only at 1.5, almost 1.6 billion transactions right now that is about roughly uh, at this point a hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars almost a hundred and fifty eight thousand dollars in revenue I actually have this spreadsheet here that I made where this is the transaction amount per day the revenue per day per week per month and per year okay so just to give you guys a little bit of an insight right now per day we're doing about 4.1 tr uh, million transactions okay so it's roughly not that much that's you know, right now, if we were to do 10,000 transactions a day, that'd be $1,000. So right now we're doing about $415 in transactional fees. That is because of the fee amount here, uh, a fraction of a cent. Okay. So right now, basically we're doing less than 10 million. Okay. Which is just $280,000 a year, but say for so, okay. First off, we'll start with the low numbers. Okay. We'll just say, um, we're doing a million transactions per second. Who knows what that is going to be a day? Uh, it's a day, it's a second. So you can kind of do the math if you want to, but I'm just going to say once we get to a million transactions per second, uh, I think at that point we could pretty much say, okay, well, maybe we're going to be jumping up. Maybe we'll just say, I don't know. We're doing a trillion transactions per day. Okay. Um, at a trillion transactions a day which I do think that will get to fairly fast once sharding is in place and once utility is in place and HBAR is being utilized by a lot of these massive giants. You could look at almost $100 million per day in revenue, $700 million per week, $7 billion per month, and $70 billion per year in transactional fees over the HBAR mainnet. So that is money flowing over the mainnet. That will essentially boost our market cap at least by $7 billion. But I think that at that point, we'd basically be at about a $70 billion plus market cap. Okay? Just to give you guys a rough estimate. Okay? At $70 billion, we would be at the number five spot. And I don't think that that is the stopping point. Because he's also talking about a trillion transactions 
per second. At a trillion transactions per second, okay, we could just say one trillion transactions per second would put us at the number one spot in crypto. It, it, it would, okay? And at that point, we could just say who's ever holding HBAR at that point is going to be 100% reaping the rewards of being patient because that is $100 million a second. $100 million a second in transactional fees being incurred over the HBAR mainnet. So in 60 seconds, which is one minute, you're looking at $6 billion a minute that is flowing over Hedera's mainnet. That is a minute, okay? So at an hour, you're looking at $360 billion. This is why HBAR is absolutely no joke. And this math is 100% accurate. You could do the math for yourself. Talking about the transactional fee with the transactional data with Lehman basically saying, hey, yeah, we could essentially get to 1 trillion transactions per second at some point in, ta uh, in time with sharding. And it's not a joke. This is why HBAR is going to be a game changer for crypto. This is why I continue to stack. I don't care about the price action, okay? I've told you guys multiple times, stop looking at the small picture. When we're talking about a trillion transactions per second, you're looking at trillions of dollars a day, a week, a month. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. And when we look at the performance over here from the Hedera white uh, paper, we do see here the Hashgraph consensus algorithm provides near perfect efficiency in bandwidth usage and cons uh, consequently can uh, process hundreds of thousands of transactions per second in a single shard, a fully connected peer-to-peer -peer mesh of nodes in a network. So when we're talking about 10,000 transactions per second at the point with just one shard currently, and we have the potential of doing hundreds of thousands with a single shard. Just think about it when we have a, a massive amount of them in place and we're doing a trillion transactions a second. And I do think that it's only a matter of time before we get to that point. And you guys might be wondering, well, how do we get to that point? Well, it's fairly, sim uh, it's fairly easy to get to that point when we're talking about how many use cases they have. These are just the use cases that Hedera actually has currently, right? These are the ones that are set in stone. These are going to be the ones that are already going to be transacting over the mainnet, okay? And a lot of these, you know, they don't even have a fully live project just yet. But when we're talking about deploying drones at scale with Neuron and Hedera, we're talking about you know, future financial markets. I've already talked to you guys about the future financial markets with XRP as well with the ODL service. But when we talk about CBDCs, we already know that Hedera Hashgraph is a bridge asset, okay? So Hedera Hashgraph could also be utilized alongside XRP with these cross-border payments. And that is, again, trillions of transactional data moved a day. We're also talking about you know, a lot of payment structures in this space as well with ads, DAX, a core. We're talking about a lot of these, you know, projects, for example, even Alliance Block, which I've talked about multiple times on this channel, doing a ton of volume. The volume is going to unlock the value behind HBAR. We don't even need to get to these massive amounts of transactions either to see the price of HBAR move. HBAR will move once people realize the true value behind it. But I'm telling you guys right now, I'm talking about these transaction, this transaction data because this is the long-term vision behind it, okay? When we eventually get to the trillion dollars or trillion transactions a day, you won't even have to count or worry about the dollar amount that's in your portfolio, okay? You won't have to worry about the dollar amount that HBAR is going to move to because utility is going to be the future of this space. And when we talk about Hashgraph technology, you cannot compare it to blockchain technology. 
It's completely two different things. Okay? When you're talking about hashgraph technology being, you know, a supercomputer, basically, right? It, it, you know, you're talking about hashgraph in a whole new space, and blockchain technology is like, you know, it, it's like DSL, right? It, it's actually, we'll just compare blockchain technology is like a landline phone, right? Yeah, sure, it has its u use cases, but it has no major use cases like a smartphone, right? I could go on the internet, I could do this, that. That is Hashgraph. Hashgraph technology is endless possibilities. Blockchain technology is old technology. It's unscalable like Hashgraph technology. That is why when I talk to you guys about what HBAR could possibly be, what Hashgraph technology could achieve, the possibilities are truly endless. So I am ex especially long on HBAR. I will be holding it for a very long time because of the potential behind that. So with that being said, I hope that that answered a few questions in regards to how do we get to these massive price predictions on HBAR as well. Because HBAR could be worth at some point in time $100 to $1,000 as well with XRP. Market cap does not mean anything on a lot of these assets like Hashgraph technology and HBAR itself. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys do want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.